वेलकम टू दिवार टॉक शो स्वागत है आप सब का टॉक शो में जी हाँ मैं आ गई हूँ फिर से एक और एपिसोड लेकर और नए पैशनेट गेस्ट के साथ जी हाँ आज इस आर्ट वर्क की हम बात करेंगे कहते हैं ना कि इस आर्ट फॉर्म को कहीं ना कहीं इतना आर्ट में नहीं गिना जाता है उसे क्राफ्ट में गिना जाता है और यही शिकायत है हमारे गेस्ट की जी हाँ आज हमारे साथ जुड़ने जा रहे हैं परवीन जी जो हमारे साथ शेयर करेंगी प्रोसिलीन आर्ट के बारे में जो कि प्रोसिलीन पर किया जाता है प्लेट वगैरह पे आर्ट और क्रिएटिविटी की जाती है और वो किस तरह से की जाती है और इसकी क्या डिटेल्स है इस ये सब हमारे साथ शेयर करने वाली है परवीन जी तो चलिए देखते हैं उनकी शो रील शुरू करेंगे उनका स्वागत Thank you for having me. मैं मैं मतलब बहुत excited भी थी। बोला ना कि जो experienced person होते हैं उनसे बात करने में ना we learn a lot. Actually. Thank you. So I'm very excited about the today's show. So I'll just start with that. कि कि पहले my tagline of the show. The tagline of the show is sharing the passion journey, unfolding the passion journey. So what is passion according to you? Um. passion to me is um obviously doing what i love and um i love doing things with my hands i love creating things so you will never see me sitting still i'll always be doing something so either i'll be drawing or be painting or i'll be doing crochet knitting maybe craft work working with calligraphy um for me passion is constantly learning new things but to do in the creative field yeah and all, you are already a teacher also from so many years yes so your passion might be like you got a ground to work on your passion that is actually the extension of my passion i love teaching um i love um showing other people how to do what i know um and um thank goodness to all my students who stuck with me for so many years i've now been teaching 25 years actually this year i completed oh, 25 years of teaching um and it's been a lovely journey so it is like uh, we'll take this episode as a celebration of your 25th <laughs> thank you that's <laughs> lovely <laughs> yeah so mom uh, how it started you know from the Things like how you thought of being art teacher, like how you thought of being art. Um, actually, in school, um, I used to do a lot of art work. So if there was anything to be done for the school class, I would be doing the posters, drawing things, and then I decided that you know, uh, like I said, any free time I had, even at that time, I used to be drawing or coloring or whatever. Um. Then, uh, when I was reaching standard eight, standard nine was the time when we had to kind of decide what we wanted to do in our life. Um, and I was not very good with academics. Academics was there because I had to do it, but I was more interested in dance and drama and painting and sports and that kind of thing. So my parents um, 
kind of guided me into taking up art. I'm very, very grateful to them. They never said you have to become a doctor or a lawyer, even though, you know, I thought, okay, my cousin is a doctor. I went and spent one day in the dispensary with him. I said, no, no, too much to study. <laughs> then my another cousin is a lawyer. So he sent me one or two of his books and I looked at the size of the book and I said, no, this is not for me. I can't read so much. Um, but then luckily for me, another cousin, <laughs> so you'll see that my family has uh, um, influenced a lot in my life. Um, another cousin studied art and she had become a, a graphic designer and was doing pretty well. Um, so my parents brought her home and we chatted and I realized that, you know, there is a future in art to an extent. Um, so with my parents' guidance, I studied art. So I did uh, five years of commercial art. And that's what it was called at that time. Um, and I graduated with a diploma. In those days, a diploma was perfectly okay. You did not need a degree for, you know, uh, because it was your portfolio that actually got you any kind of job. Um, so I did that. I did well. Um, and uh, then I started working in advertising. I was working for nine years. I was in advertising in the art department. And... Um, then I got married, I had my baby, and at that time it became a bit difficult to go all the way into town. Uh, I live far from this main city, so to go in every day, leave the baby at home and all that. So I quit my job, and I started freelancing, trying to do a little design work here and there. Um, and then um, my mother's friend, a very, very close friend, started teaching uh, was teaching porcelain painting. Um, and she knew me since I was a child, you know. Um, I will um, interrupt you over here. Like uh, porcelain painting you spoke about. Yes. Me and my audience, my audience, we don't know this Right. Me, what exactly it is like. What is it like? Which kind of art was it like? Right. So uh, porcelain painting, as the name suggests, is painting on porcelain. Porcelain is plates, bone china. You, you know the word bone china. Everybody knows the word bone china because those are the plates we used to eat on. So porcelain is a, a refined form of uh, ceramic. It's a different form of ceramic. It's a different clay and a different glaze. Um, and porcelain plates. Uh, this is an art. Um, it's a very old art. Okay. And it started um, in um, China and then in Germany. Um, then over the years, they were only factory produced. And in those days, they were produced only for the kings. Okay, specialized. Then of course, it started coming into the market. And there, uh, it's a uh, individuals started working in those factories and then started painting on their own. And this then has become a huge art form in America, in Europe, uh, in the East also. So, um, my, like I said, my mother's sister um, here in, in Bombay learned it from her sister who had who used to do it in Australia. Gotcha. So she learned it, the four or five of them in Bombay learned it from her and then they started teaching. Now I'm talking about uh, the year I started porcelain painting in 1993. Okay, okay that's a long time ago. Um, so at that time, there were only these small pockets of people. There were three teachers and only their students learned how to paint. And it is not something that everybody can do at home uh, because there's a huge expense involved in it. You need to have a kiln. A kiln is, like, is a specialized oven which is made for uh, painters who paint on porcelain. And you can also do it in a kiln that fires pottery, but the temperatures are very different. Um, 
so once i started learning from her i was obsessed it became like an obsession you know it was so engrossing and so therapeutic because you know i would leave my uh, two and a half year old child with my husband and then i would go to class and then for three hours i would just be painting and then you know when i went back to the next class my my plate was fired and it was ready for me and the colors had been absorbed in the glaze and it just looked so beautiful i was hooked literally hooked on that and um, i haven't looked back but ma'am uh, this, this as you are saying this case so um, the color way matlab alag hota hai kaise colors kaun se use hote hain and correct is correct like jaise indian folk art wagera mein wali painting there is a same form of painting we are drawing the same colors yes. and yes, something yes. like that isme kuch aisa hai no no um there are different mediums that you paint with that give you different uh, effects so um the uh, what we most of us in bombay do is the open medium technique where um these are not ready made paints you don't get this paint in the market over here at all um they are actually powder pigments and the powder pigments are mixed with different kinds of oils to get different effects so that is what i teach how to mix the paints what what medium to use for which effect um and the main thing in this is that it has to be fired it has to put, be put in an oven unless you put it in the oven it is not permanent and once it is put into that kiln and it is fired it is permanent you can't change it you can't do anything with it Okay, so it's not like other mediums of paint. Oil paints, me okay, अच्छा नहीं लगा. We'll go over it. थोड़ी touch up कर लेते हैं. Acrylics में भी वो ही हो सक होता है. Watercolors में उतना नहीं हो सकता है. You have to be very, uh, you know, sure on how you're using the paints. Um, and in porcelain, once you fire it, that's it. You can't change it. You can only put layers and in. It is forever. Mm-hmm. it is forever i mean you look at the plates you eat on okay your bone china plates yeah. that pick that image never wears it wears off because you gesso it and you wash it and sometimes right. you know people don't take care in how they're washing their plates mm-hmm. um so this is forever it it becomes it's like you know they become family heirlooms because mm-hmm. they just last and last and last they don't go bad well, and they don't fail anything i like when you when you are teaching this to the students how the students are responding to them oh my students are obsessed they they just love it um so what has happened is over the years um we don't actually only paint dinner sets we paint ornamental paint pictures we paint plates to to display we paint tiles to display and that's where the fun is because you can try many techniques you can and there is no format to the design you know earlier on okay only flowers little flowers in the center of the plate and a border now we in my class are using the plate as a canvas to paint anything we want so we paint um, landscapes we paint abstract pictures we paint flowers um, you name it whatever you want to be paint so the way i teach is i start with basics i believe that basics are very very important if you know your basics you can expand you can do anything you want but if you don't know how to use the paint where to use it what is the technique to use it then i'm not interested in teaching you ah. <laughs> <laughs> so um yes i teach all the basics and then we really create all kinds of things um uh, my, i have a class page on instagram uh most welcome to see it like it keep looking at the kind of work we do um it is so inspiring my my students inspire me to create because they will say oh you know i want to do something like this and we'll chat about it we'll think we have to we think out the whole process because it's not one time you paint on the plate yeah. you paint you fire it then you paint again and again you fire it 
and again because what you're doing is you're increasing and you are developing the picture as it goes so like an oil painting you do layer by layer same in this too you do layer by layer but the layers remain all you do is add you make it darker you can sometimes in a lighter area add an element then we work with gold we work with 22 karat gold in a liquid form it's a 12% liquid gold we work with platinum we also work with liquid metals they're called lustres all this creates some really beautiful effects there is no you know one that together ek hi lakeer pe nahi chalte hai na you have to create nahi yeah and it has so much scope so much scope to create the only thing about this um art form is that it is expensive it is expensive to do it's not a cheap thing and the other thing is you don't get the material in the market you don't get them in the regular art stores here i have to import my uh, material for the students and i have to get it from the industry in india that supplies to the ceramic industry over here so you can't say okay i'm going to do porcelain painting i'll go to the shop i'll buy the paints and i'll do it no 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 mai jaro se mujhe isme aise lag raha hai ki why not matlab mujhe kyun nahi pata tha i am taking interviews from two years of the artist so why you think ki scope kyun nahi hai itna porcelain painting ko art form mein kyun nahi dena gaya oh uh, because i think the main thing is that porcelain is is considered plates to eat on okay and because there aren't so many of us uh it is not known also it is not an easy art form to advertise and to promote one mainly because it is exclusive material wise and all you know it, you you need to have the right sources to get and secondly if you look at a plate which will be maximum 12 inches okay and for now i mean you get larger but you we don't have such large kilns so we don't paint on anything larger than 12 inches for now and you look at a painting which is say 2 feet by 3 feet yeah the price will be almost the same which one will you buy you will buy the painting ha because it's bigger it's larger it looks more attractive you will buy the painting you won't buy the plate so that is the obstacle that we face as porcelain painters that our art is not it's not recognized as an art it's recognized as a craft oh page pe plain karte ho acha very nice you know um nobody recognizes that it is an art and very frankly this time at the india art exhibition is the first no it's not the first time there was another artist who had exhibited a couple of years ago but this year the india art exhibition had two porcelain painters both of them one of them is still my student the second one started with me and now she's moved on she does her own stuff but the response that they got was not as much as the response that the canvas painters got but i'm sure that if we are able to exhibit more and we are able to educate through you know like like now you are featuring your audience is going to see what this art is about i'm hoping that other people will also pick up on this and help promote the art because it is an art it's not a craft we are not we are we are not making the plates we are decorating them we are painting on them the plates are our canvas and the thing is you know i believe ki uh, wherever the creativity is used is it not here also is it the creativity and as you said there is a scope of many designs so it oh, is yes. for the buyers also to get the you know personalized paintings and all so yes absolutely in fact uh, now that you're saying personalized i have done a lot of commissions um for people who have given gifts you know uh, what i do is i create stories about people on the plate and that's what i do as a as commission work um and i've had uh, quite a few 
people who've been interested. But that again, it's like buying a big painting because it's exclusive, your story, it's personalized for you. Um, I do a lot of personalized dinnerware also. Uh, and my students are also now managing to take on commissions from their friends, but it is still a very small community. It is your friend who knows you do this, will come and say, will you pay this for me? I'll pay you for it. That's how it goes. Yeah. But I promise if your students or you are also interested to exhibit in our exhibition, most welcome. Thank you so much. I will take you up on it. <laughs> yeah, sure. And uh, ma'am, the teacher or student ka jo relation hota, because I myself was teacher for 15 years. Then I left okay. and I started with this. But still my mm. students are like in touch with me. Wo connection yes. ek alag hi hota hai. It is never, a never it goes. Is not a son and much. But that teacher-student relation, it is on the other level. Absolutely, so I agree. What do you say about your relations with the, teacher, with the students? Oh, my, my students are my closest friends. Okay. They're also my students. They know that in class, when they are here, we have to not, nothing <laughs> goes. You have to do what I say. One limit should be but, like. yeah. but otherwise, I am, they are my family. They are my family, my past students, my present students. Um, you know, when I was doing this 25 years, I was just taking stock of the last 25 years. I realized that I've taught almost three, more than 325 students uh, over the 25 years. I'm still, I'm not in touch with everybody. I wish I was, but still I would say, I mean, if I ever come across or some people, some of my old students just reach out to say hi on Facebook or on Instagram or just call up once in a while. It is such a heartwarming feeling. It's just so wonderful. It really, I love that. Yeah. So now you're working as an art teacher in a school also, right? No, no, no. I've only taught this. I have taught okay. porcelain painting for 25 years. Okay. And oil painting and acrylics, I started, I think, two or three years after porcelain. So, uh, where you are teaching if someone wants to join? You I teach in Bombay. In Bombay, I'm in Andheri West. Um, my uh, number is on my class page on Facebook and on Instagram. You're most welcome to call me. And uh, I can always help you out. All I want to say is that this, I consider this art of commitment so if you're committed to learning i would be very happy to teach you and thank you thank you your relatives have always given us art to support. So, you want to give us a message? Absolutely. Um, I think the world has moved on from the doctor, engineer, um, um, you know, I'm sorry, yeah, from uh, the doctor, engineer, uh, careers. And, um, I think if someone is inclined towards art, you should be encouraged to carry on. You should be encouraged to take it forward. And the other thing I feel is that you should not always think of art, getting into art as a career. I feel that it is something that you should be passionate about. If you're passionate about it, go ahead do a lot of work, do a lot of research, learn it. I'm not saying that there's a wrong way of doing art. There is no wrong way. But there are, see, I'm old school. I'm very old school about this. I just feel, like I said earlier, if you learn the basics, you can go anywhere. I have some people who come to me and ask me, oh, so how long will it take me to learn this art? Um, where can I sell my work? To those people, I say, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Because for me, art is passion. 
you learn it because you want to create you learn it because you want to put a message on your plate right. or on your canvas and you want the person who sees it to get a lot of happiness from it when that person feels happy looking at your work they might offer to buy it from you but you can't say okay now i'm making this plate i want to sell it so what should i put on that plate how will it sell that does not work no, for me that is no not formula of sell, selling out yeah so that is the other thing you ask me how come nobody knows about personal painting it is because i am an artist i'm not the, i'm very bad at selling i am very bad at pushing my work i would be very happy if i got someone who was interested enough and firstly passionate about my work who would promote it for me and who would help me sell it but i must say that the few um and i will not say that there are many there have been a lot but the commissions that i have got are from people who believe in my work so that's what i'm just trying to say for anybody who is interested in art firstly to the parents of children who are interested in art let them follow their dream let them do it don't push them into something that they will do grudgingly and not be happy in their lives because if art is giving them happiness they will find a way to make it work for them and for those of you who are interested in art and who feel you have some talent don't stop at what you already know try and learn more till this day till this day i have been doing art for our lost count of the number of 30 whatever odd years i am still learning i am still doing courses with other artists courses with artists who are now masters in their art because i feel i am i feel i am a master in my art i won't deny that but i don't feel i know everything learning never ends actually learning never ends never ends and the other thing i say is um to people who want to follow and who want to start doing art there is a lot now thanks to the internet there is a lot of artwork available on the internet use that art as a learning point don't copy and don't sell your copied work don't do that firstly you are undermining the actual artist who has done the work secondly it's not yours it's not yours to sell be original learn from that artist that you have copied from copy who say no don't copy copy the work because you learn by copying you learn a certain technique by copying it you learn a certain technique by looking at a youtube video that an artist has posted do that homework learn it become an expert and your art will be appreciated and the your they will start selling on their own and the money will come so i just feel follow something original create something original and create something that you love because if you love it someone else will love it right it's very easy to relate if you are making from your own creation as absolutely because you're putting your own heart on your plate or your canvas or whatever you're painting right and there is more joy in other people sharing that then copying somebody's work and saying oh this is mine it's not right <laughs> ma'am how are you feeling on our show oh i'm feeling very happy to be on your show i'm so happy that you contacted me and uh, i wish you all a lot of success and we i will definitely um share some of my work on your site sometime sure sure ma'am <laughs> one request is there i can see one uh, painting behind you Yes, which one? We have already one? seen your show, but I okay. want to just see that one behind. Um, you. this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. One moment. Yeah. Blue is my favorite color. That's why I was attracted. Very beautiful. Yeah. So you see that the glaze is so beautiful. Now these are different. These are liquid metals, and these. these are your basic porcelain paints so 
I mean, there's so many things you can do. There's one more here, which, um, you know, um, let me take this out. Um, this is a vase. Wow. And this is all original work. Okay. Um, these, um, these are double tulips which my daughter photographed. She, she lives in uh, the Netherlands. She had bought these and she photographed them. She always sends me paint, pictures of things to paint. So, you know, that's where I get my inspiration from. Photographs, things you see. And I put them onto first yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. And definitely I will say as a video promoter, I will promote this person. Thank you so much. And very soon, I hope for the best. I am always the things. So, go for the best. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yes, that would be lovely. Yeah, it will, it will happen one day. Okay. God willing, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so okay. much, ma'am. Thank you for being on our show. Thank you so, so much. My pleasure. Thank you so much. So, friends, you have seen this artwork, 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 this art salute hai aapko hum sab ki taraf se bahut bahut congratulations hai aapko aur isi tarah aap ye art work sabko sikhati rahe aur jo bhi sikhna chahta hai hamare jo show ke sath sab links tag hai aap unhe contact kar sakte hain and also main kahungi ki jis tarah se ek ek episode ka dheer ra talk show ka hota ja raha hai hum hum pass aa rahe hain 100 episode ke taraf aur 100 episode mein bahut sara dhamal aur बहुत ही कहते ना एक्साइटमेंट वाला एपिसोड वो होने वाला है आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड मेरा शो है मैं तो एक्साइटेड रहूंगी ही एंड मैं चाहूंगी जरूर आप भी जुड़े रहें मेरे 100 एपिसोड तक फ्रेंड्स हर एपिसोड के साथ हम और नजदीक जा रहे हैं अपने 100 एपिसोड की तरफ जी हां और मैं आपको बता दूं कि जो ये 100 एपिसोड होने वाला है वो बहुत ही स्पेशल एपिसोड होगा और हमारे साथ जुड़ने के लिए और इस अपडेट के लिए प्लीज हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर दीजिए की सब्सक्रिप्शन है YouTube पे चैनल सब्सक्राइब करने के कोई चार्जेस नहीं लगते हैं तो जरूर कर दीजिए हमारे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब ताकि आप हमारे 100 एपिसोड का जो एक्साइटमेंट है उसमें क्या है और किस तरह से आप उसे एंजॉय कर सकेंगे किस तरह से हमारी जितनी भी पैशन जर्नी हुई है उनके बारे में जान सकेंगे तो जरूर से कनेक्ट हो तो चलिए लेती हूं मैं आपसे विदा फिर मिलूंगी अगले एपिसोड में किसी और पैशनेट गेस्ट के साथ और करेंगे बातें उनकी जिनकी क्या बात है तब तक के लिए अपना ध्यान रखिएगा